It is 617 now. Time to turn to Betsy Kling, who must be serious business. She's already at the weather wall. <laughs> She's just bypassing us all together tonight. <laughs> oh, it's all good. We actually have a beautiful evening on tap. A lot of cloud cover around, and I know everybody's kind of locked in on the fact that we have a lot of clouds, not a lot of sun, although we have seen a few peaks here and there. Temperatures? Very comfortable at this point. We're in the low 60s, backing down into the 50s as we pass the midnight hour. We're still in the mid and upper 60s across the area. We are dry for the most part. We haven't really even seen too much in the way of sprinkles around northern Ohio. And our dew point temperatures are still on the comfortable side. With that uh, 50 degree dew point, that's typically where we would consider it comfortable. So as far as where we go from here, well, we've got pretty nice temperatures in place and not too bad of humidity, but then you throw the clouds into the mix and everybody all of a sudden says, oh, this is just a horrible day. It's so gloomy out there. Well, what about some rain in there? We're actually going to get the rain out to the west of us. This will start to swing through Ohio as we head through, especially late tomorrow and then into Thursday. All of this has been just slow to move because of a big old area of high pressure sitting in the north of us. There is like zero weather happening throughout southern Canada right now. So once we get that moving, then we'll finally start to get this rain in here and through and we'll break out of these clouds. But I want to focus on the positive because I do love the sweet spot, right? Not too hot, not too cool, not too humid, not too dry. And over the next 24 hours, we want to stay in this little blue circle and watch how this goes. Uh, we're getting a little cool early morning tomorrow, but we're right back into the ideal territory as we head through the afternoon and into the evening. The 24 hour trend keeps it right on target. So I know there's a lot of clouds. I know that we may even have some showers, especially popping up across northern Ohio early in the day and then maybe a little bit later on. But as far as temperatures go and humidity values go, not too bad for us. Now let's talk a little bit more about those clouds and the showers in your National Design Mar hour by hour forecast. We do have these mostly cloudy skies that stay with us tonight. Tomorrow morning we may have a few pop up showers that greet you as you head out the door. Temperatures are going to be in the upper 50s. We'll stay in the upper 50s crossing into the 60s as we get into the afternoon, but a lot of clouds will be around and yeah, we will have some showers here and there in northern Ohio. By tomorrow evening, then that's when we should finally start to get a better chance for rain moving in here. And we are looking at on and off rain chances, not only Wednesday night, but also through the day on Thursday. That's going to help to hold the temperatures down. But we need this rain, friends. We're looking at maybe a half inch, possibly up to uh, an inch of rain by the time we get to the end of Thursday. And that is definitely some welcome news. Matt has been keeping us updated on the uh, totals and we could be on our driest September on record. So come on rain in your union home mortgage forecast, but don't stick around for the weekend. And that works out beautifully. Lots of sunshine, warming temperatures will be in the upper 70s with sunshine for the Browns game on Sunday.